What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Building Business and Life Together with the Masons. Today's blueprint is about helping you construct a strategy mm -hmm. to get you into your dream home amidst rising interest rates. Not hey, high, hey. rising. Hey, hey, hey. So what we're going to do first is we are going to introduce the buyer's agent extraordinaire. She has all the secrets, all the strategies, the things that she uses to apply her business to make sure that her clients win every single time. Today, again, three strategies we're going to go over. If we have time, I might throw in a fourth, which is from me, your listing expert, where I only represent sellers. So yeah. we're going to talk about some things. Lashika, I'm going to kick it off to you, and I'll chime in based on my experience as well. So what you got? All right, so let's start with the first one, which is one of my favorites. Um, you can pay a little extra to a lender to get a lower interest rate. And yeah. this is called buying down your interest rate. Yeah. And so here's how it works. At settlement, you're going to pay a little extra money. Some of that money would go towards buying down your interest rate, which will save you money on your loan the entire loan term. Correct. Okay. No, nah, so I, I think that that's a really good one. So that's one that we actually did. We did. We, I think at that point, the interest rate on a house that we currently are in, mm -hmm. at the time, I think it was a little over 5%. It was. And we ended up buying the rate down. down to, at the time, it was like 4.1. Yes. Yes. Um, and that was that that made all the difference in our mortgage payment. Right. So we sold our house, mm -hmm. used the equity from our home in order to buy our rate down, which at that point was it was about one percent mm -hmm. was the cost to buy it down one point. So it was one percent right. of the loan amount, which mm -hmm. it was around seven thousand dollars for right. us at so the you're time. You're buying down points. Yep. So we bought the points down. Mm -hmm. And that allowed for us to save money over the, the term of the loan, right? which was phenomenal. And then just recently, we refied, which we saved over $1,000 a month, and we came down another two points, exactly. which is crazy. Seven years later, we came yeah, down two more seven points. seven years later. So buying down your interest rate is a smart move if you're planning to be in your home for a long period of time. Yeah, okay. definitely. I think that that's an amazing strategy, and it yes. also helps in today's market. The buy down can go one of two ways. I highly recommend it for someone that is coming from, if they're a second time home buyer. Right. You have the equity, use it wisely. Yes, mm -hmm. use it for a down payment if you need to pay bills down, whatever. But if you can buy down an interest Definitely rate. Definitely buy down the interest rate. Even right. if you are a first time home buyer, talk to your lender, shop around early in terms yes. of what it's going to look like for you to do that, what mm -hmm. the payment's going to be. If you just talk to a lender today, but you're not looking to buy for another six months, mm -hmm. you still want to start that conversation now so you know what you need to be saving for. So highly recommend that. But I love the I love the, the rate buy down. buy down. It's amazing. Right. So second would be the 2-1 buy down. Okay. Okay. So for the 2-1 buy down, your first two years of your mortgage, is your interest rate is going to be less. And here's how it works. So for year one, your interest rate is going to be 2% less than your original amount that you agreed upon. Mm -hmm. Year two, your interest rate is going to be 1% less than the original amount you agreed upon. And then year three and onward, you have that original agreed upon interest rate, the life of the loan. That one, it sounds a little complicated, but let me break it down. Okay. Because I, I heard what you said. So 2% okay. so the first year, 1% mm -hmm. the second year. Yes, less. Full Full amount, full amount. Interest, interest. Okay, so yes. today's interest rate is 7%. Right. So for that first year, your interest rate is going to be 5%. Exactly. And then year two, it's going to be 6%. 6%. And yes. then year three and beyond, it's, it's 7%. 7%. And so this loan will is good for saving money the first two years in your yeah. home. Um, it helps you with if you need to go buy furniture, if oh you goodness, yes. need home improvements or just moving expenses, anything like that. It helps you save money the first two years while you're in your home. And then hopefully by year three, when you have your original interest rate with your fixed payment from year three onward, you're making more money and you're ready to make those payments. So now this is what I'm going to tell you about the 2-1 buy now. Okay. Don't just jump into a 2-1 buy down because it seems to be cheaper and it's going to save you money. Mm -hmm. But on year three, you're panicking because that original mortgage payment that you agreed to is something that's a little far-fetched. I always so, tell my buyers to be comfortable with the year three payment. And if you're comfortable with the year three payment, then go for it. Yeah, because, I mean, even for us in our first house, there are expenses that you don't think about. So this is really for not the buyer that can't afford the mortgage payment today, hoping to afford it on year three. Right. This is for the buyer who didn't think about the blinds that are going to shoot. Our blinds were in our first place were like $15,000. Something crazy. We stayed in the house for three years before we actually had it fully furnished. So yeah. it's certain things you got to think about. Like if you need blinds, if you need furniture, if you have to make home improvements, mm -hmm. if you need to pay down some debt so that when you get to year three, you're comfortable with that payment. Right. Do that. But then here's the other piece that I highly recommend if you are going to do the two one buy now. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do it, and you don't have other expenses that you need to pay from saving that money, save the money 
for year three. Yes. So whatever the difference is. So if it's $1,500 mm-hmm. that your mortgage payment is currently, but it would have been $2,000, stack the $500 five. for Each the month. next 12 months mm-hmm. so that when you get to year three, you already have a cushion and it's almost as if you're paying that lower cheaper payment right. year three and beyond. And then if you get into a habit of saving that $500 and you do that over time, you're going to snowball that and you can continue to apply that to mm-hmm. your mortgage. And that's going to allow for you to have a cheaper mortgage. And hopefully at that point, interest rates have come down. Mm-hmm. Always watch and you can refi. Right. And hopefully you're making more money. So yeah, that definitely. It'll... Hopefully you're making more money. <laughs> um, but those are just I, I, I love the two one buy down thing, mm. but I also just want people to err on the side of caution. Don't do it because it's saving you money right, for the first for, two years. Year first three, years. Yeah. you're going to be in trouble if you base it on that. Right. You got to make sure that year three is a comfortable payment. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So that was the two one buy down. Thirdly is the five one arm and the 10 one arm. So arm is stands for adjustable rate mortgage. Mm-hmm. So five one arm or the 10 one arm. So basically, you're in a mortgage for five years or 10 years. The first five years or the first 10 years of that mortgage is a fixed rate. After that, once you hit year six or year 11, which is the one. Yeah, which is the one. Mm -hmm. Then the interest rate can go up and down throughout the life of the loan. So you don't know what your payment is going to be. So So it's kind of like a game. It's a game where there's rules for five years or 10 years. Then after that, the rules don't apply anymore. Yeah. (laughs) So in that, what I would recommend on the adjustable rate mortgages, it's mm-hmm. the same exact thing that we just talked about on the 2-1 buy down. Mm-hmm. The difference in it is once you get to that one year after the big number in front, because it can fluctuate. Yeah. You don't want to get to that year. It could fluctuate you out of that house. It can. What I highly recommend for mm-hmm. everyone watching, if you decide you were going to do an arm and today, mm-hmm. meaning today, if you look at this show today mm-hmm. and you go and check the interest rate. On the arms and the fixed rates, this is the first time ever that I've seen where the fixed rate Mm -hmm. and the arm rate are are in the same percentage bracket. Mm -hmm. It is 7% today in a fix. It is 7% in a arm Mm -hmm. when normally the savings is significant in the arm. Yeah, which is why we would recommend this loan, you know, so that you can save money the first five to 10 years. And then after before you hit, you know, that one um, in the five-year arm. You're refinancing. Ten, you're refinancing. You're exactly. refinancing anywhere in that. So because yeah. you're in a 5-1 arm or a 10-1 arm, that doesn't mean that you cannot refinance. Right. You can definitely refinance. I highly encourage you to watch the market and see where the rates are. The immediate moment that you see an opportunity mm-hmm. to refi from that higher interest rate, you do it so that you don't get to the end and then you have that ins- that uncertainty in there. Right. So it's very important to have a close relationship with your lender yes. so that your lender can say, hey, you know, um, you're in three year three and you're a five one arm and the interest rate is cheaper. You may want to refi out. Yes. So you can have a lender on the lookout as well as is there a tool that you mentioned before? Yeah. That- so that that's bankrate.com. Okay. I have been using bankrate.com for all 12 years of my real estate mm-hmm. career. So it is definitely something I would recommend that you go in and check out daily. And you can even set alerts in there to see what the current interest rates are. But I love the fact that you talk about building a relationship with the lender. Yes. If you plan on buying more than one house, whether it's your primary residence or even an investment property, sometimes when you're outside of that primary residence, you have to strategize to buy Mm -hmm. your secondary property. And the only way that you do that, yes, you can do it on your own. But if you have a lender who looks at your profile Mm -hmm. and says, hey, you need to pay these three things down so that your debt to income is below 50 percent, highly recommended to be at 43 percent or lower. And that'll make you very competitive when it comes to the market and the rates. But build that relationship with your lender Mm -hmm. so that they always have a pulse on it. And they're going to reach out to you because they know. One, is going to benefit them when they call you and tell you where that rate is and they know what your buying power is. They'll call you and say, hey, the interest rate is here. You need to lock it and you need oh, to go and find exactly, a property. That's exactly what our lender That's how did. we refi. Yeah, because he was like, hey, Anthony and Lashika, you know, VA loans. I mean, at, pressed us they're out. They're at 2.1% right and I'm now so during glad the pandemic. We did it. And we're like, oh my gosh, okay, let's refi. And so glad we did because it saved us $1,000 a month in our mortgage. Yes. So, so having um, our relationship is, is yeah, very with key. Your, with the lender and a buyer's agent and a listing agent. So they can jump right on, you know, help you on the real estate side once you are pre-approved and ready to go. No, yeah. I, I love every bit of that. Mm-hmm. And these are all strategies that I think are certainly important as we kind of look at where these interest rates are. And the longer you wait sometimes, like, and I know that some of you watching right now probably feel this way, mm-hmm. that in the height of the pandemic, when the interest rates were at their lowest, 
you thought it was a great opportunity for you to buy, but the market was so competitive at that moment that you, it was multiple offers left and right. I mean, we had oh, we dang. had 15, 20 offers on a property right. and everyone was missing out. We missed out on multiple offers on you know a property that we were trying to buy. Mm -hmm. So the longer you waited, we are at a state right now in the market where waiting actually waited you out of your dream home. Yeah. It waited you out of a mortgage payment that was affordable for you, where some people now, I mean, it's a thousand, two thousand dollars difference in their buying power. Because of interest rates. So you so may high. not have that same confidence in the market. So right. what we wanted to do was come on here today to provide you with some strategies mm -hmm. that will be able that will really help you obtain yes. the American dream. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so that is it for this episode on the three strategies that you can use to achieve the American dream of home ownership. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please comment below. Mm -hmm. Whatever state that you're in, we can assist you in finding the lender that can assist you with those rates, with any specific programs. That is one thing we did not go over here today is special programs that are state by state, mm -hmm. county by county, city by city. Yeah. So reach out to us. We will get you um, a lender that is in your area that can assist you with not only getting pre-approved, mm -hmm. but also get you up to date on what different programs are available. For instance, yes. there was a program that if you had student loans, the government was taking your student loan, rolling it into your mortgage, and after you have either sold or paid that home off, your student loans were gone. Yeah. So there were all kinds of programs out here that would really help you, mm -hmm. and it can be done through home ownership. Yes, and then lastly, if you're looking, once you're pre-approved and ready to buy, Anthony and I can most definitely link you with a, lend, um, a realtor to help you purchase in whatever city or state that you're in. We can link you with a lend, uh, lender and a realtor. Absolutely. So we don't just sell here in the Maryland, D.C. and right. Virginia area. We can help you anywhere you are in the country. In the continental United States and outside of the continental United mm -hmm. States. Yeah. Um, so either way, we hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Keep building. <laughs> and, and stay, stay unstoppable. unstoppable.